Jordan, I invited you over because mom found me. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Any idea how that happened? Well, I didn't tell her. I'm not crazy. She may have birthed us. But that woman is not sane. Okay, that puts my mind at ease. If I didn't tell her and you didn't tell her, then how did she find out where you were? I have no idea. But there is something we should mention before she gets here. Wait, she's coming here now? She said she'd be here. I'm surprised she isn't here already, considering the last time she just showed up here unannounced, she let herself in in the middle of the night. So, yeah. Wait, she found you before? Yeah. Then that's probably how she found you this time. No. It's not possible. How is it not possible? Um, we kind of erased your memories. Wait, what? We erased her memories. How? How? Magic? Magic. Magic isn't real. Oh, but it is. In fact, everyone in this room is magical in one way or another, except you, as far as we know. Huh? The majority of us are merfolk, um, with the exception of Chris, who is a werewolf. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I meant to tell you sooner, but things kept kind of happening. And I never got the chance. Okay. So. How do I know that you aren't totally insane like our mother? Um, well. I can prove it. How do you plan on proving it? Like this. A bottle of water? How is a bottle of water gonna prove anything? Like this! Oh, that's cold. Well, yeah, it just came out of the refrigerator. My God, you weren't kidding. Nope, I was not. <laughs> what is so funny, Aya? I've been wanting to splash water on mommy for a long time. How long have you been wanting to do that to me? 
<laughs> as long as I've been able to. Oh. Yeah, let's not bring that up again. I will ask more questions later. Okay, so uh, how, how did this happen? Um, well, let's see, I... I fell into this pool of water and the next thing I know I have a tail and this mermaid is there telling me that I'm stuck like this forever. Wow. Yeah. Serena tells it better. Who's Serena? Oh, that's right. We hadn't really seen much of each other until Alia was born. So... You guys have never met. She's the first mermaid that I had ever met. She used to sleep in my bathtub. Wait, the bathtub? Yeah. She didn't like sleeping with legs. She preferred to sleep in her tail. Oh, okay. Makes sense, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Does this mean that you can't, like, surf anymore? Unfortunately, every time I get wet, I pop a tail, so no more surfing. That sucks. Yeah, well, swimming at the speeds that I can now is way more fun than surfing. You get the same rush, but without the dangers. What? dangers are there in surfing? Drowning, wiping out, and getting hurt. Sharks. You don't have to deal with sharks. Sharks aren't aggressive to mermaids. Oh. Really, the only problem I ever come across in the ocean is humans. Well, that and not looking where I'm swimming and bumping into coral. Yeah. That seems like it might be a problem. Yeah. I can swim faster than I could ever dream of running. That must be pretty fast. Yeah. We should probably get dried off before Mom waltzes in here and sees me like this. Yeah, I can only begin to imagine how she would react. Seeing as she pretty much disowned me for being bisexual.
Yeah. At least she never drug us to church as kids. She didn't even go to church. Exactly my point. I'm here. I see this is a bad time. Well, make this not a bad time. Why is the floor wet? I almost slipped and broke a bone. Um, that was my bad. <laughs> Then why do you seem so happy? Because I got to splash mommy with water. Okay. Hi, Jordan. Hello, mother. Really, that's how you're going to, to greet me after five years of no, not seeing me? You're the one who said you never wanted to lay eyes on me again. Yes, well, I only assumed you would come to your senses by now and realize that you were meant to be with a man and not that woman. If you say one more thing about my girlfriend, I will let Jess do whatever Magic it is that mermaids can do. Mermaids? Magic? Have you not noticed that she has a tail? Oh, I guess I hadn't. Nice scales. How did this happen? Ugh. As if I'm gonna let you remember it anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I think she plans on wiping your memories again. Again? Apparently she did it last time. What last time? The last time you tracked her down? This is, I haven't done that before. Yes, you have, Mom. You just don't remember it because I use magic. But anyway, thanks for visiting. Uh, please go away and never come back because you're a crazy lady and I don't want you in my life. <laughs> Way to be blunt. <laughs> I am your mother. You have no choice but to let me be in your life. Actually, I do. Mom. And I mean all the events when I say this, but... You throwing me out was the best thing to ever happen to me. I got to be free of you. And it was your choice, which means you wouldn't come looking for me. <sighs> you guys are so ungrateful. Yeah, because you've done nothing for us to thank you for. Anyway, 
So, uh, Nerissa has created a potion that should wipe her memories and, like, keep them wiped. Because apparently that memory erasing spell that I used last time didn't work. I mean, I would say it worked. She doesn't seem to remember tracking you down the first time. Well, yeah, but I want her to not be able, able to find me again. And mom, how did you find us? Uh, well, I happened to be in town for a doctor's appointment and I saw your husband sneaking off into the woods all suspicious like. So I followed him. Chris, how did you not know she was following you? Uh, I don't know. I should have been able to hear her or at least smell her, but nothing. I heard him talking with his friends about packs and werewolves. And so I decided to make him an appointment with a psychologist. Yeah, because you thought that he had clinical lycanthropy. He doesn't. Then what was all that talking about? Um, yeah, well, since you're not going to remember this anyway, he's actually a werewolf. I guess that's easier to believe than you being covered in scales, yet I see it with my very own eyes. Yeah, you're taking this really well for someone who kicked out her own daughter for liking another girl. Well, that's because it's just wrong. She's gonna burn me to hell for that. No, she's not. If hell's real, <gasps> you're gonna be one burning there. Not her. What do you mean, if hell's real? Well, with everything I've seen, the idea of hell is a little hard to believe. Ugh. Now, please, finish your story about how you managed to track me down. Well, once Chris and his friends left the woods, I just followed him home. And now I can see where you were and why you weren't home every single time I stopped by. Yeah. I was in the ocean. And once I heard you were back, I decided to stay there a little longer to try and wait you out, but obviously that didn't work too well.
because here I am and here you are. Not gone yet. Oh. Oh. The spell I used on you before gets less effective each time it's used on the same person. So that's why we cooked up a potion that will hopefully wipe your memories again. But this time it's even more in depth. What do you mean in depth? This potion is supposed to erase her memory of ever having me to begin with. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Can you like add me to that potion? Cause I, I don't want to see her again either. Especially if she keeps bad mouthing my girlfriend. Sure. There you go, one memory erasing potion. Why is it pink? Well, the original potion is white, but Jessica had to add a little bit of her essence in order for the potion to work in erasing Melissa's memory of her completely. And that turned her pink. Why don't you go ahead and tell her what you meant by essence? Blood. Just a few drops. Did it hurt? Only a little. And all you have is healing powers, so. I don't even have a scar. Really? Yeah, we don't know how I got them. But I have healing powers now, I guess. Okay then. I am not drinking that. Uh, yes you are. You cannot force me to drink that. Actually, I kind of can. Boys? What are you talking about? Ooh. You are just my type. And you're a little too old for me. Oh. Jess, who are these people? My husband's pack. Oh, so you've got animal instincts, don't you? Yes, but not in that way. Can you just shove this potion down her throat so she'll stop flirting with me? All right, all right. Would you, would you two let go of me? No, they're not. Not until you drink this potion. doing here? Come on. Let's take you home. Okay.
so how long are you gonna stay like that? I will stay like that until all the water is completely gone. And how long is that going to take? Sometimes it takes a while, depending on how much water, but I can use magic to speed up the process. <laughs> 